hello welcome back to another little video on my channel today i am going to be doing a what's in my university bag so i go to university i am coming towards the end of my university though i'm actually in my final year and i haven't got that long left i finish officially on the 10th of june but i'm pretty sure i'll finish a little bit before then to be quite honest with you i study film production at the arts university bournemouth and i've been there for well, two and a half years now almost at the end thankfully and i thought for today's video i'd show you what i put in my bag for uni so i don't tend to go into university very often anymore because the pandemic happened and so a lot of our teaching has been moved to online in fact most of this year it's been online which for me I'm actually quite glad about. I don't really have many friends at uni, just haven't really clicked with anybody and the pandemic kind of made me not want to socialise with people. So I actually prefer being online but I have been in a handful of times this year for different things. I filmed a what's in my bag video for college and I wanted to document what I have in my bag for uni for memories and in case you're going to uni or you're doing film production at the AUB and you want some advice of what to pack and bring with you I kind of change it up depending on what outfit I'm wearing it depends on really the coat that I'm wearing I love coats and not all coats fit a backpack very like very well I tend to switch it around depending on what I'm wearing what I'm taking that kind of thing and how long I'm going to be at uni if I'm only going to be at uni for a couple of hours and I'm I'll take a little bag. If I'm gonna be at uni for longer, I'll take my big backpack, which is what I've packed today. But I thought I'd show you the two bags that I mainly flip between. So this is the first one. I had this for college. I bought it in TK Maxx like a while ago. It is a little bit worse for wear. You can see like by the handles that it's a little bit worse for wear, but it still works. It's still a nice bag. It's very like open and bare you can kind of shove everything in it's got a handful of pockets you can see i've got the essentials masks um still in there and oh an emergency 20 pound note that's handy it's good to know so yeah this is the bag i take if i'm only going in for a few hours or my outfit doesn't allow me to wear a backpack i take this bag i had it for college it's from look l credi uh i bought it in tk maxx it was like I feel like it was £30, maybe less, I don't remember. But it's just a black leather bag that I can just chuck everything in. But the bag I bought specifically for university to put all my like stuff in and have a brand new bag for uni is this massive rucksack. Do you need a massive rucksack to go to uni? Absolutely not. This is very big, but I tend to overpack for every situation, so... I got this. It's not like when I was at college that I could leave stuff in my car because my car is parked so far away for uni. I, it takes like, it's a good 15 minute walk to get to my car. And if I've only got like a 30 minute break in between stuff, or sometimes I don't even have a break in between anything, walking back to my car is just not really an option. So I need to carry a lot of stuff with me and I overpack for like days out and I just, I, over, I overpack it in general. I'm always worried about what's gonna like happen. And when I used to ride my bike into uni, so I'd drive a little bit of the way and then I'd ride my bike the rest of the way. I'd actually have a second bag that would stay on my, my bike because I used to park my bike round the back so no one would go there. And I used to leave my wet weather gear in it just in case it started to rain really badly. I'd have like a waterproof coat and waterproof trousers. So I, and like all other stuff as well. And I'd also like wrap my like bike chain around it, like my bike lock around it. So it was it was safe. But if people really wanted to take it, they could. But I mean, like, I'm very trusting. <laughs> so yeah, I'd have like a second bag that would slot on the back of my bike. And I would have things like uh, wet weather gear. I'd have a hat. And what else would I have? I'd have something else in there. I don't really remember. I don't, I don't tend to ride my bike in that much anymore because I just don't go in enough to be honest. Anyway, right, what you're here for. This bag, you can't even see it in frame. This is from Kath Kidson. This is from a, quite a while ago. It's the Winnie the Pooh range. As you can see, it's got Winnie the Pooh little spots and it is quite big and quite full. Do I take all of this every day when I go in? No, I would, depending on what my day is. So the reality is it wouldn't always be this full. This is, this is like, if I'm in, 
all day, which doesn't happen very often. So yeah, I love this bag. It does, they don't actually sell it anymore, but they sell bags in a similar style to this. They don't actually sell Disney stuff, Kath Kidston anymore, but anyway. Do you need a bag this big? No but I liked it because when I rode my bike in, it would go on my back because it is a rucksack or I could also carry it by these straps at the top here. So very versatile for university, which is quite good, but it is quite heavy. So with the pandemic, I, I didn't always have this, but with the pandemic, I bought these little um, hand sanitizer bottles that I refill and I did put my name on it. You can't really see it very well, but I did put my name on it and it clips onto the outside of my bag. Depending on what bag I, I use, even like my personal handbag, I always take one of these with me because I'm just paranoid about COVID. So yeah, I'm super paranoid about it. We'll start with the easy pocket, which is this back pocket here. So it's got three pockets, this bag, a laptop compartment, a big compartment, and then this tiny little one on the front here. So let's start with the easy one, the laptop compartment. I take my laptop with me. My laptop's actually not in here because it's on charge at the moment. But <laughs> I would take my laptop with me because it's quite nice in class or tutorials to just have your laptop so you can show what you're doing or you can work on an essay or you can just procrastinate and not do any of that. So yeah. And in lectures, I find it sometimes easier to type up my notes. So not that I have lectures in person really, but when I did, I'd have my laptop in my with me and I found it much easier than writing. Originally I was just gonna write all my notes in a notebook, but then it kind of just I wasn't I couldn't write quick enough. I could type faster and then I wouldn't have to like retype up my notes to understand anyway. I would recommend if you're going to university to have like a computer device that you can write your notes on. So that's that back pocket done and dusted. In the middle pocket here, I would also have my laptop charger. If I'm there all day, I have a fairly old uh, MacBook Pro. And so the charge on it doesn't last all that long anymore. So if I was going for all day, I would need to charge my laptop in between. But to be honest, nine times out of 10 now, I'm only in for an afternoon. So I don't tend to, but I do take it with me just in case. So let's go through the main pocket now. So I would also take with me my iPad. I have an iPad Pro. Why would I take this with me? Because sometimes it is just, if you're sat in the library and you're having a team meeting, it's sometimes easier to just show things on an iPad and just kind of like, it's just easier to be quite honest with you to have it on my iPad ready. Get it up, show everyone, or I can write a quick note on here. And because it's an Apple iPad, I can connect it to my MacBook Pro, my iMac, iPad, iPhone, I love Apple. <laughs> So it's just quite sometimes quite nice to have and sometimes sometimes I do actually digitally write because I have the Apple Pencil as well. I sometimes digitally write my notes on the note section if like I'm in a quick meeting I don't want to get the i my laptop out so I can just quickly write scribble down some notes being like this is what's you know that kind of thing. It's, it's proven rather useful. Do you need both? Absolutely not. I could get away with just writing everything on my iPad, which would make my my bag a lot lighter. I like having it. I like having an actual physical keyboard, so it is unnecessary to have both. But I like having both, so I could just get a keyboard for my iPad. To be honest, that would solve a lot of the problems, wouldn't it? For a creative course. I kind of would recommend having an iPad. It is quite useful to have, and you don't necessarily need an Apple one. Like you, a tablet is very useful to have, I would say. Another thing I take is this notepad. So this is a Disney store. Uh, they call it a pad folio, but I got this for free. I ordered one of, I ordered one and they kind of messed it up. So if you look and you see, it's upside down. It's upside down. I complained about it because I was like, it's, it's upside down. Like when you open it, like you can't put the note, the book, the notebook in the other side. Like it's, it's, it's upside down. It's wrong. And they let me have it for free, uh, and they did send me a new one. So for university, I use the upside down one, and I really like this because you can just. I'm gonna put my bag down. You can slot in any notebook that you wanna use. So I just get these really cheap ones from like, this is from Sainsbury's I think. And I just slot in the cardboard at the back, sorry, at the back there. And I have a notepad that looks quite sexy. And I just write, I've this notebook I write everything and I write to-do lists, I write any notes from meetings, just a little bit of everything. 
got a little bit of everything in this notebook. It's always good to have a notepad and I like this because I normally have a pen in there but I must have taken it out and used it. So I always have a pen in here so that I can have my notes and a pen and I can just be like blah, 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 blah. But I obviously need to put one back in. And these are little drawings uh, that I do not remember when we did these for. And it's also got like business card slots here as well. A water bottle. Uh, I tend to go for the metal ones because they keep the water colder for longer. So it's just, and I prefer having cold water to lukewarm water. This is one I got in Primark. It is supposed to have Mickey Mouse heads all around it, but it's kind of like starting to rub off a little bit. But, and it's a little bit dented on the bottom. So I have a box of lateral flow tests in my bag. Why? Well, the pandemic makes me very nervous. So sometimes I do one randomly if I like sneeze or something. It's really weird, I know, but I'm very paranoid about COVID. I have been since the whole of the pandemic. So for our course, especially last year, you had to take a lateral flow test before you were allowed onto, onto set. Uh, so we for our films, everybody had to take a lateral flow test beforehand and provide evidence of like a negative test. So I would always carry a box in case someone had forgotten to do their test or they hadn't got proof of a test. So I would like proof of a negative test. So I'd bring a box with me and I kind of stuck with that policy ever since that I would take a box of lateral flow tests to university. We don't have to do them anymore. It is optional now, but like last year we had to do them. This year it's optional but I'm, I'm a paranoid mess. So I take a box of lateral flow tests. I also take my diary with me. So this is my 2022 diary. It's a Mickey Mouse one. <laughs> uh, my mum got this for me on Amazon and it's just got like little Mickey Mouses on everywhere. It's a day to a page diary, which I prefer. Let's go to a page I don't have anything written on. Page a day, which I like because then I can like write and put my stickers all over it so i've got you know i love putting stickers in my diary and yeah i really like this it is a little big i don't remember my last year diary being as thick as this but it doesn't bother me i like it and i like that it's got like a little strap over it so it keeps it all together all nice and it's yellow as well i love the color yellow so yeah mickey mouse diary and then the last two things in this bag are kind of a little bit unconventional you do not need to take these to uni but sometimes you have a bit of spare time on your hand and you're not necessarily wanting to write your dissertation or write your essays or anything so i take not both i know i rarely take both depending on how much time i have to kill in between lessons or lectures or tutorials or whatever i never really take both but I put both in my bag just to show you. So I take a book to read normally because that's something easy, I can do that anywhere. And the one I'm currently reading is The Flat Share by Beth O'Leary. I'm quite a fair way through it as well. So I take a book to read sometimes to pass some time, uh, either at lunchtime or in the library or whenever, to pass some time uh, when I've got a bit of a gap in between things, I'll take a book. Or if I'm not really fancying reading, which does happen quite regularly, I sometimes take my Nintendo Switch. <laughs> I've got a multitude of games that I can play. I've got my Switch and all of my games with me, that I take with me. Uh, I, I don't take this very often, to be fair. So that's everything in kind of the big main pocket of my bag. Let's look in the last pocket, this little one here. This is kind of all like personal items and stuff. So I've got a pair of gloves. It is quite cold at the moment and I do uh, sometimes ride my bike into uni, which is very rare now, but I do tend to walk. Uh, so I park my car a good 15 to 20 minute walk away. So I take gloves because it is cold on the walk in at the moment. Uh, it is February that I'm filming this. Probably around like March, end of March, April time, they won't be in my bag. But it is quite nice to just when you finish uni and you're walking home, just pop a pair of gloves on. It makes life so much better. I have my camera, my vlogging camera, because I am getting back into YouTube. So I take this so I can film before and after arriving at uni. I don't tend to film at university because I'm embarrassed. I have my vlog camera. I have a Canon G7X Mark II. I would like to upgrade, but they are quite expensive. But yeah, this is my Canon G7X Mark II. I take that with me. Um, sometimes I take a spare battery, but not normally. Ah, I just kind of take the camera. I've got my purse here. Nothing, 
nothing special about it. It's got it in TK Maxx, it's by Kurt Geiger. I like it because it's small and I've got like slots for my cards and there is a cash slot. And as you can hear, I've got some coins in there as well. AirPods, I've got my AirPods. Uh, I've got this really cute uh, Mickey Mouse case that they're currently in. I have two or three different cases, so I switch it out depending on what I'm feeling. <sighs> Essential for when I'm walking into uni, for if I've got time to kill and I want to watch a movie on my laptop or iPad. Or sometimes I've got a Zoom lecture and I just do it at uni. Essential, to be quite honest with you. Absolutely essential. And then, because just in case they, they uh, don't work or they run out of charge, I've got my other ones in here as well. Masks. I, even though masks are no longer a thing and probably by the time this video goes up, the COVID rules will be over. But I, you saw me, I had a box of lateral flow tests. If you don't think I've got like six of these in my bag and plus fabric one, like uh, reusable ones. It's depending on the situation that I'm in really, sometimes I'll put one of these on to kind of like, if I'm in like a really crowded place and I want to like be able to get rid of this to make sure there's no COVID in my house, I'll sometimes wear this one. Uh, one of these or if I've got like a massive full face of makeup on like if I'm wearing red lipstick I'll wear one of these because then like when you get the lipstick on it it's not as difficult to wash because you don't have to wash them. I've got some paracetamol I always take paracetamol wherever I go even if I filmed a what's in my bag video there would be paracetamol in it because I'm just paranoid I'll get a headache period cramps paracetamol is an essential for me and then I normally have finally a selection of pens just in case the pen in my notebook runs out or as today I didn't have one in there I'll have a selection of pens and highlighters I normally have a few more highlighters but I think I must have taken them out and used them at home so I have a selection of stuff pens and stationery in the front of my bag for when I need it and that's everything in my university bag so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you saw everything in my university bag. If you did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up. I'll try and do more stuff like this, possibly talk more about my university journey. If you have any questions about film production at AUB, just leave them in the comments or message me, let me know. I'll happily answer them for you. And yeah, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time with another one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you around. Bye.